Hi guys, welcome back. So now let's have a look on an interview question here along with answer. So what is document type in SAP? Now look at here in SAP document type controls that, you know, key controls that classify accounting documents and define how financial transaction is posted into SAP system. I'll tell you guys, whatever transactions are posted here into SAP system, whether it is vendor invoice, customer invoice, credit memo, right? Or GV. These all transactions are getting posted against a particular document type. So with the help of document type, what will happen? It classify, look at here, the accounting documents in the sense the types of transactions, whether it is customer invoice, vendor invoice, right? If you have a look here in SAP, let's suppose if I have to post a vendor invoice, FB60. Now let's have a look here, KR document type. Whereas if you go to FB70, this is customer invoice, isn't it? So it classify the different types of transactions. And apart from this, it is having certain control, number range control, the types of transactions, as I already told you, invoice, payment, general entries, whatever it is. So control means it controls the number range. Second thing, account types and field status. Look at here. If you go to slash and OBA7. So here, now let's suppose SA document type. When you post a transactions, General entry JV, it is posted here against SA document type. So first of all, number number range control. Whenever you post a transaction here, look at here, a number range code is appearing, right? So with the help of that, SAP will trigger a particular number range if you click here. And let's suppose I'll give a company code. Let's suppose TS11. Okay, click here interval. So here 19 is not there. Somewhere it is. And a different company code it was there i think one raj in that it is there yes 19. so generally whatever what whenever we post a transactions for uh, a particular company code right sap will check whether this number range is there or not if it is created system will allow to post the transactions if it is not there system will throw errors so number range control is done by document type itself right apart from this look at here account type allowed what kind of accounts are you know uh, posted here by using this uh, this document type so asset related transactions are allowed customer materials gl suppliers and uh, suppliers are not allowed right so if i remove this check mark then even customers also will not be allowed isn't it so these are the controls here and field status means there are two fields which is controlled by document type you come down here reference and header text right where it is if you go to class and fb 50 okay so here we are having reference and header text field that will be controlled by document 